I'm Marianne Rizout coming to you from the IEEE booth at the 2012 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. IEEE is the world's largest technical professional association and we're here to talk about the biggest global trends in consumer electronics in 2012. Joining us is IEEE fellow and technical expert Stuart Lipoff. Mr. Lipoff, you said that in 2012 we can expect to see more electronic manufacturers pairing their devices with content in the cloud. What's the appeal of services like Apple's iCloud? By being able to take some of the complex processing, it really isn't practical to do in a small inexpensive device and a battery and put it back in the cloud. You can use the battery powered device as kind of a terminal to get access to it and do things that just would have been impossible to do otherwise. What new products or applications are being showcased at CES this year that exemplify that technology? Pattern recognition and various forms of artificial intelligence. There's face recognition uh, where you can take a photo of somebody and then uh, have it search the web and find that their photos may be uh, in Facebook or iPix or various other places. These are examples of processing power all tied to cloud computing as a fundamental foundation technology. How does this technology benefit consumers? We can put more features and capabilities into these devices than people are capable of learning how to use or figuring out how to use. So by abstracting that complexity and having these devices act more like dealing with a person or just talking with them in a natural way, we can remove that complexity and we can unlock all these features and give people access to those things without having to carry around a large textbook with them to figure out how to use it. Should we be concerned about security? In security in general, I think the, the basic issue here is biometrics. Uh, we take uh, the underlying technology that's been followed uh, throughout all the IEEE societies, computer society, of uh, basically dealing with encryption. But then we add to that the ability to recognize somebody's voice or their fingerprints or even their face. And by uh, tying in various forms of encryption technology back to uh, these biometrics, we can prevent imposters and others from being able to access information or to impersonate us. Mr. Lipoff, thank you very much for the insight today. Oh, you're quite welcome. And there you have it, one of the latest trends you can expect to see in consumer electronics this year. And to hear more about the latest trends here at CES from IEEE, go to facebook.com slash IEEE org.